One thing that most people don't know is that the world is desertifying very quickly. We are becoming a desert and there's nowhere to go in the world to get away from this. They've already mapped out what are going to be the most intense areas of potential conflict. People think that water privatization is just a problem in the developing world, but we have the very same situation in the U.S. When the water system doesn't work, then the civilization goes. They've handed power over to big water companies who want to create a kind of water cartel so that one day every single drop of fresh water in the world will be privately owned and controlled. These corporations aren't accountable to the communities that they serve, they're accountable to their shareholders. I think Wall Street understands this is the commodity to be invested in. This has become the most precious thing on earth. Water is a supply and demand commodity. The question is how to get it from source to market. So here's one of the driest continents on earth being told by the World Bank to export its water to get its way out of debt. In the form of roses that are sold in Europe. Controlling water is everything. The army is brought in to control local dissent. Who are you protecting? There's your people without drinking water and you're protecting foreign investors. The bottom line, uh, water is a good investment, period. We need the political will and that political will is not going to come from the top, it's going to come from the bottom up. The leaders in our movement are coming from the grassroots. And I'm talking Republicans, Democrats. Whiskey's for drinking, water's for fighting. We're fighting. But we're fighting for the people that are going to use it in the future, our kids and their kids. If we don't do something to save it, what are they going to have? We are not talking about potential tension. We are talking about blood being spilled on the streets. If money is more important than water, where are we? Wherever a river is now treated as the supplier of raw material as if it was oil. Serious people have serious enemies. We have the generation of water wars. It's not the money, it's the power.